awkward, aren't you? Not awkward. No way on earth. I'll give her a kiss and a hug. I think my exact words were take a cup of concrete and harden up. Never intended to be a goalkeeper, just got thrown the gloves and then stuck with it, really. Yeah, I've got to be a leader. Um, that's a vital part of being a goalkeeper at the end of the day, you see the whole pitch. I never started as a goalkeeper. I only started goalkeeping when I was 10. So I was a striker. I was actually doing all right as a striker, to be honest. Eight week picks on game day, mate. I got thrown into a futsal grand final and they said, oh, you're in goals. So it's like one of those rotation systems and I play well. And then we um, had Sutherland Sharks trials were coming up and my mate was going down. He's like, oh, come down. Just throw the gloves on and see if you make it. And then somehow made the team, I don't know how after playing like a couple of futsal games in goal and then made the team and then yeah, kind of went from there. But you went to Spurs quite soon after that. Yeah, four years after. Yeah, yeah so I went there when I was 14. It was hard. It, I'd be lying if I said it was easy. I remember saying to mum, so mum flew over with me just to settle me in for the first week and then she left and then when she left it was, okay, I've got to do this by myself now. And I was saying, just get me home, get me home. Like I want to play National Youth League. Like, just, I don't want to be here, it's too hard. And it was, yeah, peak freezing, it was cold, it was wet, it was windy, it was miserable. I, I had to find my feet pretty quick because it's that saying, you either sink or you swim. So I had to, had to swim and had to get through the tough times to, you know, eventually progress through. But yeah, this is Alexis. She's a new Melbourne, Melbourneian. Yeah. So yeah, and moved six, six months ago. And it's, uh, we went to our first AFL game the other week, so we feel very yeah. Melbourneian. His superstitions are a bit crazy. They're getting crazier, I feel like, as time goes on. I never used to have superstitions. Never used to have them. And then, well, I ate two bars of chocolate before a night before. It's super weird. I, um, well, before my debut, me and Denny went to the shops and we just bought some chocolate, um, just to snack on in the room, and then obviously played well, and then it's just kind of stuck. And now I've got to have two bars of chocolate before each game. On home games, I've got to eat the same pasta. But I think next season she wants me to change it right? because she's not too happy. Yeah. It's not too bad, but then, like weeks like this, we had it last night and then we Saturday got a game on night. Sunday, so I've got to have it on Saturday night. And then, and then I think then, Wednesday again for yeah. Thursday's game. So there's these quick turnarounds at home. I mean, I don't mind it, but it's just this one. Oh, that again, that again. Hey, Mum. Hey, Tommy. This is the granddad. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember my husband ringing and saying, are we doing the right thing? Tom won't even sleep over at his grandparents' house. He hates sleepovers and we're going to leave him on the other side of the world. I know you just risk it, you do, it's very, it's tough. I just said you've got to give it a good, good go. I said you worked so hard to do it. I think my exact words were, take a cup of concrete and harden up. Like really, it was like that. I knew that we'd been, you'd been training five days a week at home. 5.30 every morning, we'd be up at the park, kicking the ball with his wrong foot against a wall that we could find, you know. I always, I always know there's going to be traffic and yeah, I'm one of the first ones there just to be safe, just to give myself a bit of time but yeah, I stress about that, I can't be late, I have to be on time or I've got to be at least half an hour early. I reckon they'll throw me off the whole game if I was late so I'll come by myself um, nowadays but I don't mind, I, I put my me, me playlist in a listen to my guy Connor so yeah, he's other up and coming DJs from my era as well so Listen a bit to him and then, yeah, that takes him to the stadium and then get rocking. Buzzy, what's happening, Buzz? Buzzy. I'm just doing an Amazon documentary. What are you doing? <laughs> Amazon documentary. What about? All or nothing with Tom Glover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've always got to stay um, concentrated and. <laughs> but no, you, you, you can't switch off, which is. Uh... Oh, God, I'm going to cost some stick here. <laughs> There's. How are you, mate? You good? <laughs> Have the meeting now, and then um, we've um, what's it called get ready again after, and then go to the warm up. The uh, the tactical master plan you're about to find out. Yeah, mate. So we've been doing the training all week. So just what are you doing? New YouTube channel, mate. I'm starting vlogging. Good luck. See you guys. I'm pretty cruisy. I don't really have any routines. Um, there's always music playing, so I just kind of listen to the music, um, talk to the boys, even just general chat. Doesn't even need about the game. Yeah, for me, it's just 
cruisy and then have our meeting and then get ready to go out and then, yeah, do the warm up. Good, mate, ready to go. Yeah. Archie, how are you, brother? You good? Yeah, good. Right. yeah, ready to go, mate. How was the warm up? Yeah, good, really good. Feeling good, feeling sharp. So, I'll lead that into the game now. You know, the best team's going to win at the end of the day, and if we do our job defensively, then you know we, we won't have any problems. I get maybe nerves when I get into the game, but once I put my gloves on and warm up, I'm fine. Oh, Glover, what? My goodness. Well, showing exactly why. He closed down over the field. You never know what fortune he Oh, can you hear the sigh of relief? Every goalkeeper has to play with their feet nowadays, and you know it's something that I'm still working on, and something that I'm coming, be, becoming more confident with. The least things I need to do, the better, really, for a goalkeeper. You can face all these shots, but, you know, me, preferably, I prefer not to, but that just shows that my, my boys in front of me are, are doing their job and, you know, we're doing our job as a defensive unit. Yeah, I've got to be a leader. Um, that's a vital part of being a goalkeeper at the end of the day, you see the whole pitch, um, you know, especially talking to our defenders and midfielders, left shoulder, right shoulder, all those are very important because, you know, that could be the difference at the end of the day. And, you know, if I, me and my back line are in sync, you know, it makes my job a lot easier. Goodwin ignores him. Yankee with a little touch. Halloran with the chance. More than a chance. Adelaide are right back in it. What a start to the second half for the away side. Tommy Glover at full stretch, but deflects it only into the path of Ben Halloran, who's been very dangerous tonight. He finds the back of the net and makes it game on. You know, we want to go one step further than last year. So, yeah, I think we're on the right direction and we just got to follow the process which we set out day one of pre-season. It's now 3-1 and Jamie McLaren has equaled his season record. Everyone springs to their feet and Tilio is the one to launch himself forward. He's got McLaren waiting at the back stick. Jamie McLaren, a tap in. He's broken his own season record. That's 24 for the campaign and a big three points for Melbourne City. There's been a series of steps over the past couple of weeks. Melbourne City toward this maiden premiership tonight is a big one. We could have easily dropped our heads at 2-1, um, but I think it just shows the character of this group. Um, you know, if things aren't going our way, you know, we dig in, we, you know, we follow the process and then, you know, the end result 4-1. So, yeah, it's kind of, you know, some sticky moments there, but I think fatigue would play into that with the short turnarounds and, you know, it's not going to be our best, but um, it's times like that you can get results like this. It's, you know, it shows good signs for the team in the near future. I've got to try and sleep. Yeah, it's no, it's straight recovery. We're back in tomorrow and then train Saturday and then play Sunday. So, yeah, it's, a, it's too much of a short turnaround to be wearing the suit out, that's for sure. <laughs> but no, I just quiet one at home with mum, granddad, and um, my girlfriend. So, nothing too fancy for me tonight, that's for sure. Having them down is it's always a bit better when I win. You know, I'm in a bit of a better mood than as opposed to a loss. I don't really talk to anyone, but um, yeah, no, it's good, it's good. And I'm glad to see them, they got three points.